Now to the crisis in Iraq and reports this morning Islamic militants have taken over the country's biggest oil refinery. As President Obama meets with congressional leaders to weigh his options. ABC's John Carl is standing by. He's there at the White House. But first, let's go to ABC's Martha Raddatz, who is live this morning in Baghdad. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Robin. The U.S. is getting more and more involved here. We've got those ground troops over at the U.S. Embassy. And this morning, fighter jets above us. This morning, U.S. fighter jets from the aircraft carrier USS Bush in the Persian Gulf are flying surveillance missions across Iraqi skies, gathering intelligence, looking for armed militants. The warplanes backed up by additional surveillance aircraft and drones patrolling the skies around the clock, providing the U.S. military on the ground real-time images from the Pentagon to Baghdad. But the U.S. says there are still gaps in intelligence, making large-scale airstrikes difficult without significant civilian casualties. This image shows part of the reason why, from the ground distinguishing the enemy ISS militants from the civilians surrounding them is difficult, but from the air, it's nearly impossible. These forces are very much intermingled. It's not as easy as looking at an iPhone video of a convoy and then immediately striking it. But the clock is ticking. This morning, Iraq's largest oil refinery has reportedly fallen into the hands of the militants, who can now cut power across parts of Iraq and control the sale of gasoline. Which is why the Iraqi government is now pleading for U.S. airstrikes, but that is not likely to happen anytime soon, George, if at all.